Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the speed test between the Vivo X70 Pro Plus versus Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So the Galaxy S21 Ultra has the Exynos 2100 versus the Snapdragon 888 on the Vivo X70 Pro Plus, which is clocked maximum 3 GHz versus 2.9 GHz. And both have the 12 GB to 6 GB uh, RAM and ROM configuration. So let's start from the boot test on both in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, so Vivo logo versus Samsung Galaxy logo. Let's see which one opens first. Okay. I think because of a triple A plus might be Vivo. Yes, it's done guys. Vivo is done and uh, Samsung is still loading on the Samsung Galaxy logo. Oof. Still loading. Yes, oof. So that was a clear win. That means I mean a clear win for the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. Uh, so that was really ahead. The Vivo X70 Pro was really ahead of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So guys, uh, let's do some minor app opening test right now. Okay. So let's uh, close everything in the background. So everything is closed in the background. You guys can see no reason to use apps. And uh, both are connected to the X8. Same Wi-Fi network you could see. Phone Mania is connected on both. So let's start the test from the play store itself on both in three two one and go okay tiny bit quicker on the uh, vivo x20 pro plus and now moving to the youtube in three two one and go let's see oh that was a tiny bit quicker on the uh, samsung galaxy s21 ultra and now moving to some apps like thermal monitor let's see sorry so thermal monitor on both in three two one and go okay that was also a tiny bit quicker on the uh, vivo x20 pro plus and let's open the facebook at the exact same time in three two one and go okay that was a tiny bit quicker on the uh samsung galaxy s20 ultra a bit quicker i mean a bit quicker okay now let's move to the settings in three two one and go okay that was really fast on the galaxy s21 ultra okay and now let's uh, move to some other apps like xcenter in three two one and go let's see okay oh it took about almost let me close it once again and uh, i will open reopen the xcenter on both in three two one and go let's see four three two one and uh, oh that was really excited the same time now opening the chrome with the a website let me so let me open the chrome on both sorry chrome is down here so in three two one and go okay uh, let's move to YouTube and let's uh, check it out in 3, 2, 1 and go. Let's see Galaxy S21 Ultra. Yes, a yeah, bit quicker, bit, bit quicker. Let's open one more page. So that would be Wikipedia. So in 3, 2, 1 and go. And Galaxy, ooh, that was neck and neck but a tiny bit quicker on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so let's open the camera applications on both in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, that was a tiny bit quicker on the uh, Vivo X70 Pro Plus. Okay, and now move to some high-end tasks such as the Call of Duty as well as the PUBG. So starting off from the Call of Duty on both in 3, 2, 1 and go. Let's see. Guys, I would say AAA because of AAA Plus, I would tell that the Galaxy S21 Ultra would be behind of the X70 Pro Plus or Oh, 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 guys, both are loading and uh, yes, so guys, it's done on the uh, Vivo X20 Pro Plus, followed by just a minor second delay on the uh, what we call S20 Ultra and loading to the main screen. Yes, you could see the yes, 
so the vivo x70 pro plus is just a bit faster that means i mean by two seconds the vivo x70 pro plus is a bit faster and now closing everything and keeping in the background so both have 12 gb of ram and 256 gb storage ufs 3.1 as well as lpddr5 and now opening the pubg in at the same time in three two one and go so crafton okay let's see i think the same results would be like as the x20 pro plus would be leading so checking for updates on both and both are loading and it's done over here and loading yes it's almost done yes so you could see the vivo x20 pro plus done by just a second ahead we are really nice but neck in neck but a tiny bit quicker on the vivo x20 pro plus in most of the scenarios and now moving to the ram management okay starting off from the play store in 3 2 1 and go okay both have in memory next youtube in 3 2 1 and go okay both in memory and next thermal monitor in 3 2 1 and go okay both in memory and uh, next would be facebook in 3 2 1 and go yes both in memory and uh, next x and sorry x and in 3 2 1 and go okay that was a, a refresh on the yes that was a refresh on the x and pro plus okay so on the galaxy s20 ultra it was ready to share so a one point for the galaxy s20 ultra and moving to the wikipedia that means the chrome in 3 2 1 and go Okay, that was on memory on both. Let's, but before that, let me check how well it. Okay, nice. And over here, I think a bit more fluid on the S21 Ultra. Yes, guys, a bit more fluid on the S21 Ultra. You could, see. yeah, if I zoom in and zoom out, it is a bit more. Uh, what means fluidic on the galaxy but let's leave it and uh, move to the next that would be camera. let's keep the camera and move to the final set that would be call of duty this is the major area in three two one and oh glad both have still on memory you could see both ready to play and final the pubg that would be the final and uh, yes PUBG in 3, 2, 1. What guys do you think? Does it keep in memory on both in 3, 2, 1 and go? Oh, oh, I think that is a refresh in the Galaxy S10. But incredible job from both. I think it might be the Xander might be a bug. So almost neck and neck, 99% of almost cases they were neck and neck. But in terms of faster loading, the Vivo X70 Pro Plus is a bit ahead. Okay. And one more thing is there regarding the face recognition as well as the fingerprint scanners. Let's check it out that too. So guys, uh, let's check the fingerprint scanner as well as the face recognition. And the Galaxy S20 Ultra have the 3D ultrasonic fingerprint scanner versus Vivo X20 Pro that has a 2D optical fingerprint scanner. So let's check in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, so Galaxy S20 Ultra once again in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, you could see hold for a second actually this just need a tab you could see in three two one and go you could see see just need a tab if i do the same thing over here because of the 2d it would show me hold for a second oh now it's done let me check it yes now it's done yeah sometimes it's just show hold for a second but in 100 percent of the cases this is just you could you can see three two one and go you could see if i done the same over here in three two one and go sorry where in three two one and go you could see hold for a second so a tiny bit but in terms of the normal use we are not uh, checking this faster and all both are really great in three two one and go boom once again in three two one and go sorry go sorry no no see sometimes it's showing hold for a second but 
it's done and now it's time for face so i would give a win for the galaxy s21 ultra and now it's time for the face recognition so let me so both are locked and let me open okay so the galaxy s21 ultra is a bit behind let me switch the areas okay so in three two one and go okay once again in three two one and go okay now it's both are neck and neck three two one and go but a tiny bit quicker on the vivo x20 pro plus as well as the vivo x20 pro plus has a wider view in which area we are looking to the phone doesn't matter but in the galaxy s20 we must be almost near or uh, straight to the camera so that's also matter so in terms of fingerprint scanner and face so fingerprint scanner i would give a win for this guy and in terms of the face recognition i would give a win for this guy so that's all for today guys signing off it's phone mania